3x3 program in Benin. So I remind the rules for those who don't know. Oh, we see uh, Arkady from Benin. All right, first check ball of this competition. Let's enjoy the action, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna be here with me all week long. So if you have any questions, you hit me up on social media. I'm here for you, I got you. First ball inside. I remind you, once you start playing with your back to the basket, you only have three seconds to play that post up action. And the first turnover, Hungary recovers possession. And that's going to be a normal steal. Two deflections in a row. Way to go. You only have 3.6 seconds left on the 12-second shot clock. So it's probably going to be some ISO work. Wenzel, nice, sizzling through. But you got to finish what you start, though. With the chick attacking that closeout and going with the left. Rejected. What were you thinking about? You didn't know about Kiptiku? Well, she'll remind you her name quite often. She got the length. Team Benin, up and coming program in Africa. Doing a whole lot of good work, I mentioned. And you gotta appreciate what's going on now on the 3x3 scene in Africa. You got Uganda, Kenya, Benin, countries that taking this game very seriously. That's a nice take, but you got to put too much sauce on it. And I think there's a, a wire that got disconnected. <laughs> the ball bounced on the camera. And now I see a wire hanging. Hope it's not gonna bother the technical team. Nice flash action and the foul. Good finish. Budashik went for the back screen fake. She slipped right through the middle, the good feed, and you got to finish through contact. That's going to be two zip. That's a good take. You got to put a little bit more arc on it. And you got to communicate defensively. Zamar. Left wide open by herself. That's going to be a violation. You cannot guard the ball in the half circle. First warning against uh, Hungary for delay of game. Keita tries to draw the foul. Well contested. Good hands. That's going to be another turnover right here. Good take, mid-range special, but once again, not enough lift. Got to get your legs under you. And another turnover. Hungary a little bit careless with the ball early on. They're going to have to clean things up, even though they are leading three zip. Going to be a travel call. Nice, Vensil, but once again, who else? Kapitiku. Tower control in the paint for Team Benin. 
Told you she has length of her, of her own. Very active defensively. Right now, Benin needs to capitalize on the good defense. They only allowed three points in two minutes. They've created a few turnovers. Just got to find a way to get a bucket now. And we have less than a second on the shot clock. A clue is going to have to throw up a prayer. Catch and shoot. You don't have time. You got to stay aware of the 12-second shot clock. That's inexperience right here. And that's what uh, Keita tries to explain to uh, her teammate. You have two ladies with their first 3x3 experience with two veterans. And you're going to tell me three years and veterans already? Well, yeah. When you got three years experience and you got rookies on your squad, you're a vet. You didn't know that? Try to go for the little handoff action. Keita spins back around. Elevates and miss. Mismatch City, nice not pass. There you go. That's how you got to capitalize on it. Budashik with another bucket. Right at the free throw line. Using the glass in times of need. Don't be afraid to call Mr. Backboard. Good hands, Kita. Good hands. And that's going to be an offensive foul. Ooh. They're going to give it to the defense first. Thought there was a lot of wrapping around right now. I'm not going to lie to you. I think you saw the same thing I saw, but first foul is the one being called right now. Good ball pressure. The switch, and once again, that's her third block already. Kiptiku making a statement early. Turnover. And now mismatch in the paint. That was barbecue chicken. There was no way that Amdiat had any chance of stopping this. Amdiat getting fed. Novalier Clou was by herself under the cup. Her defender slipped. She didn't identify that. So that's unfortunate for her. We have the first TV time out of the game. I remind you, uh, after the seven minute mark, we got the first TV timeout. The second TV timeout will be after the four minute mark. Let's see if uh, Benin can utilize that. Uh, oh, you cannot make that mental mistake right here. That was silly. Kiptiku decided as the ball was checked in to switch up. That's not a good idea. And Fast Break City Hungary now pulling away Benin, paying the price of an experience. That's going to be a travel. They need to get the ball moving. They need to collaborate a little bit more. As you can see, Hungary now is cleaning things up a little bit. They started off shaky with three turnovers. Plus, they uh, kind of forced the action inside against Kiptiku without success. But that is much more successful, isn't it? There's a mark with the two point dagger, 10 1. Things are starting to look quite complicated for Benin. And just like that, Hungary is pulling away. And the steal, once again, Jamar kicks it back, gets it back. And Hungary is smelling blood right now. They're 
bringing the level of defensive pressure up. As you see, the deny right here from Benzel. The ball pressure. That's going to be a fourth shot. Foul drawn. The nice take baseline from Venzel. Eleven one. We're at the halfway point of this game. And Hungary is halfway there already. Good defense. And attacking the closeout, extra pass, wide open look. No. The backdoor cut. Nice. Mismatch action. And good clock recognition right here. Good communication coming from the bench. Keta. Lin Keptiku, no. You got to shoot it. But defensively, once again, Keptiku and uh, Oru. Yirana are caught up guarding the ball. And uh, Lenin Budashik roam around freely. Defensively, Benin has to do a much better job communicating and identifying the matchups. Whatever decision you make, switch or not, make sure that you both do it. Good hands, kept the cool, got depossessed, wide open look. Extra pass for a better one. And Hungary now just attacking closeouts. Kept the cool, almost turned it over. She's gonna have to shoot it. And she did not get the ball off in time. That's gonna be a 12 second shot clock violation. Had to shoot it, threw up a prayer. That was a tough shot right there. Venzel, and that's a bad pass. A clue, turns it over. Silly mistake, there was no reason to throw it out. She's gotta take a dribble, open up the angle, feed the ball inside properly, either with the lob or bounce. And that's going to be a three-second call, but she got it off right in time. Good flash. She didn't set a dribble. Had she set one dribble. Jimmy Felbaudin, the ref on the baseline, would have called it all day, every day. Second TV timeout. Hungary cruising, as you can expect it right now. They're doing a good job. Much better job now moving the ball around and not turning it over. They also uh, made great use of the silly mistakes defensively, communication-wise, from Benin. And then using the transition for easy buckets, what you call the 3x3 fast break. 13-2. Obviously, with what we're, we're seeing right now, we don't expect Benin to turn it around, but can they make the game a little bit more interesting? Cool. Going once, going twice. Offensive board going three times. And the good block from Budashik. Ooh, good full work. Budashik going twice. Yes.
And in 3x3, you got to think about the physicality. That's a push, but that's not a foul. You have a, a much greater tolerance for contact in 3x3 than you have in normal basketball. So the toughness is part of the game. You better make sure that you get used to it quick. Or you're going to be in for a surprise. Okay, top. Drawing the foul. That was a good take. And as you see, the wraparound from Vitzel. Unfavorable mismatch for her down low. She should have committed the foul earlier. Hungary's uh, far from foul trouble. And now she gave up the free throw. Nice touch by Veronica Keta. And that's an air ball. Zironi. Not enough legs on it. It's going to be a travel. Holding on to the ball a little bit too much. She had no angle on the two lady action. The dive couldn't find a pass. Nice little pass by between the legs. But there's a very tough time for Benin to boom the ball around. Good thing for them. Petiku making her presence felt inside. Ooh, slipping, touching the floor. And nice bucket from Zironi. Back to an 11 point lead. Amdiat Oru Yirana is trying to create. She's trying to be aggressive. But against more athletic defenders, what you need to do is get rid of the ball. That's a good shot. You got to take those. You got to use what the defense gives you. Can't overthink it. You just got to read it. Good rebound. By Kita. Mid range. A minute and 30 seconds left. Seconds in the paint. Gironi never left. It's a warning against Benin for coaching. And that's a foul. One free throw to come. If you have to think about a bright spot for Benin, it's the length and inside presence of a Odikandas Kiptiku. Kiptiku. Knocks down the free throw. Ten point game. And one thing that you got to think about, and Vizel thought that she got away. Pretty cool. Did not give up on the play. Almost had her fourth block of the game. One thing that you got to think about in, in this competition is not only 
And that's going to be a three-second call. Petiku asked for the ball. Elku took too long to feed her inside. One thing that you got to think about is scoring is a huge part of 3x3. If you want to give yourself a chance to qualify, and not, not even just talking about winning a game as we see the nice little fade from Zironi. You got to think also in the case of a three-way tie. Scoring uh, very low the way Benin is doing it right now. They already have nine toes out the competition, especially in the five teams group. But it's a building process for them. It's a learning experience. Hungary, one of the kind of candidates in Pool A in the women's bracket to, uh, to come out. That's going to be a little bit too late. In Pule, you're, you're going to have China, Ukraine, and Austria, along with Hungary. Two spots for those four teams in the quarterfinals. It's going to be a rough, rough war. It's going to be tough. Four very good teams. Benin is going to try to do a much better job in its second game of the day. Oh, yes, another block. That's four and a deflection. And you got you to also remember one thing as Jamar knocks down the long two. And this game is about to be over. No foul call. Benin loses 19 to 5. Expect a much better outing from Benin in their second game. Game one story never is game two story.